Hey guys, I definitely have a little different style video for you today. Um, kind of a Monday motivation of sorts. Just a word that God spoke into my heart yesterday while I was going through some things and I thought it was so poignant um, and it was so like on target for me that I can't be alone in this and I so I wanted to share it because maybe you're going through um, something, maybe you're going through a time where you think like uh, whatever's attacking me is so great, how do I overcome it? And um, I went out on a run actually and I have my worship music playing and God just brought this scripture and this story to light and let me tell you that when you're reading the, the word when you're in the Word of God and reading scripture it's never in vain even if you don't understand it while you're reading it God will hide it in your heart and it's funny because like I don't I don't reference this story a whole awful lot but when I went back to it after he revealed it to me I had highlighted it so when when I originally read it he had already spoken it into my heart and he pulled it out at this appointed time and Hopefully it's something um, that doesn't fall on deaf ears today that may help someone that's watching this video. I was in this moment where you're surrounded by people who are building you up, but then it's just one person comes in to tear you down. And why is it that that gets all of our focus? That one person, that one little bit of negative suddenly like knocks you off your, your step there and you, um, you fail to see all of this positive. That's kind of the mindset that I was in. Um, and God spoke to to me um, the story where Elisha and his servant are in the wilderness and they are suddenly surrounded by the king's army. They are surrounded by like horses and chariots and Elisha's servant says, oh no, like this is terrible. We're surrounded. There's so many of them. What are we going to do? And Elisha says, don't be afraid. Can't you see that there are more with us than there are with them? And to his servant, like this doesn't make sense. No, there is an entire army of negativity over here and there's just us. And Elisha prayed that God would open his servant's eyes, that he could actually see the truth. And when he prayed that, God opened the servant's eyes and all of a sudden that servant looked around him and he saw chariots of fire and an army of angels encamped around them. And he, he stopped focusing on this um, tangible thing that was in front of them and he could suddenly see the spiritual war that was going on around them. And so in my moment yesterday when God spoke that to me, I thought, man, like how silly of me to forget in, in moments like that, how silly of me to forget that a, someone allowing the enemy to work through them, like there are so many more with me than are with them. How dare I, again, how silly of me to focus on that one when there are so many more that are fighting for me. And I don't mean like my friends and people that are awesome rock stars leaving encouragement in, uh, in the comments. Yes, I do mean that because you are allowing God to work through you, but I just mean like, how dare I lose focus on the prize? And how um, how silly of me to ever um, focus so much on the tangible and the here and now that I forget the spiritual war, right? Because the truth is that God has a call on your life and he already knows where you're going because the word says that he he's read every single day of your life before a single one of them came to be. He already knows how your story ends and the enemy will do anything he can to come in and crush that, to crush that dream, to crush whatever uh, feeling of worth you have based off of who God says you are. So I'm going to come in and speak the encouragement into you today the same way that God spoke it into me yesterday that um, do not be afraid. Remember that there are more with you than are against you. Open your eyes to see the chariots of fire around you and be encouraged today, no matter what it is that you're going through, that I promise you there are more for you than against you. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it encourages you today on this Motivation Monday and throughout the week and enables you to treat your business like your business.